Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me once more, directly or in a time shift of fashion. It is now 10 o'clock at night, um, and I'm going to do a bit more airships dev. Um, in particular, there's one or two things which I want to fix, uh, which I thought of with the legs, and then I want to draw the large legs. Um, because A, it will be fun, and B, I want the game to stop crashing whenever you look at uh, airships with large legs. Okay. Oh yes, background music. Um, I was certainly going to have background music last time, and then it didn't happen, because I never actually turned on that audio channel, so let me just try this again. Will I manage this time? There. Now you should be able to actually hear the music. Okay. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so the first thing I want to fix is in the previous episode we were looking at establishing a weight limit for airship legs. And I had to apply quite a strong multiplier there where I was saying, well, even though the legs could theoretically carry up to that amount of weight, I actually want them to be able to carry rather less. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decrease the um, fully elastic part of the range of the springs being used. Um, and then um, make that multiple a bit bigger, which means that the carrying capacity of legs should be roughly the same, but um, there should be even less of the kind of weird airships, uh, landships suddenly bounce up into the air kind of um, behavior. Okay. And the way to do this is just to go into module type and change the relevant values. So these are the springs. So it has a length of 100 and a minimum compressed length of 60. So there's a range of 40 right now. I'll change that to 80. Here it had a range of 35. I'm going to change that to a range of say 20. Yeah, as always, um, if you have questions about the game or what I'm doing or whatever, do message me. And also let me know if the music is too loud or something. I think it's actually playing this time, but you know, whatever. Um, Okay, and then here in airship. Right. So that should have exactly the same behavior as before. And the other thing which I want to do, really the main thing tonight, is just to draw the large stompy legs. And to be able to prototype those for starters, I'm just going to go here into the code for drawing them. Sir Kama says, yes, there is music. Excellent. I have pressed the correct buttons. How nice. So I'm just going to go um, if l.spec that upper leg isn't null. So if you actually have leg graphics, draw the leg graphics. If you don't, draw the same old kind of grey rectangles. Um, I just want to put that in so I can kind of think a bit about how big the large leg should be because I think I made the small legs bigger um, since I last worked over this. Means that the large legs probably need to be bigger. Okay, so I'm just going to 
Okay. Uh, Landship set it to open. Um, yeah. Yeah, seems plausible. They now should be able to even select. There we go. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! That went so wrong. Look at that. That went incredibly wrong. It's uh, it's still activated some kind of shader, and now everything is green rectangles. That's that's impressive. Wow. Yeah, okay. Evidently, whatever I did there, it wasn't quite correct. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I know why. Um, is that I was... No? No, I'm not really sure. Let's see if... Um, it got recorded as an error. Yeah, looks like it. Is shipping crop wrecked? Oh, yes. quick hack. So it was using the width of the graphic for the crop rectangle calculation. And of course the graphic has no width, so let's see how we can get. Moisturize me. So I did actually find a website, um, so like, the thing with the music is, uh, apart from uh, last stream's slight fiasco where I forgot to turn it on properly, um, a few streams ago I put in some background music and completely forgot that um, like it was copyrighted and I didn't have the rights to it, so um, uh, Twitch TV was all like, no, no, you're very bad, um, we're going to blank out the audio in the recording. Which, you know, is fair. They could have done worse. Um, so I won't do that again in Harry. But of course I still wanted to have something to play in the background. And it turned out that, well, there is. Well, there should be some kind of royalty-free public domain, some kind of music, right? It took me a long time to actually find something. Eventually my flatmate found this website, which I will link to. There we go. Now see, I think these legs are far too small for big legs. That's really far too small. Let's make them significantly bigger. Yeah. Large legs. So how are we going to do this? First off, the spring. Well, we're going to... Okay, so we're going to make the limbs how long? In the medium and small X, they're 70 pixels long. I feel like the large legs deserve to be like 120 pixels long. Yeah. And equally the um, springs, so that's for each, for each part of the limb. Equally the springs like 150 even 160 I think yeah of course finally the, the travel maybe 100 120 again let's not make them too springy 
Let's have a look at that. Hello, Voliandrus. I'm just going to start doing this um, Starbucks barista thing where I like, intentionally mispronounce everyone's username. Yeah. Now we're talking we really like proper big legs, huh? Yeah, they can totally be that big. But I think they can be A, even a bit bigger. And B, they should be less sprung yet. So I'm going to set those to 150. Set those to... Um, 180. There's also 250. Okay. Big legs now. Yeah, once we know the size of them, you can then actually draw um, the real graphics. But we need to sort out, you know, agree on the size first so we don't have to redraw the graphics. Yeah, look at that. I think that's that's really what we want from a striking terror into the heart of our foe's point of view. Yeah, awesome. Okay. What does the landship editor say? One of those things has carry weight to 6300. Yeah, that's fair. Like, um... Let's have a look, like, um, let's see how big is a Belial. So yeah, it could carry like an HMS Belial, so that's like the biggest land ship you can get with that size of legs. I think that sounds right. Awesome. So, uh, time to actually draw those. So we know that they're going to be, one limb is going to be 150 pixels long. Uh, we furthermore know that their feet can't be wider than um, um, about 30 pixels. So that gives us a kind of 150 times 30 size, but only for the feet. We can make the upper limb wider. Probably want to make the upper limb wider. Okay, so time to draw some things. Here's a sprite sheet, here's a background, and here's the uh, little bit of extra stuff we use to figure out where everything goes. So let's make the top limb 40 pixels, yeah. Okay. So a total width of uh, 300 pixels and a height of 40. Yeah, that's a big limb. That. The actually active part should be... That sort the of size, yeah. Awesome. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so the reason why I don't use uh, script language for the code. Um, well, um, main reason here really is performance. Uh, and the really stupid reason of just, well, I started writing it in Java and I can't really change languages halfway through. Um, so you can do some limited, well, the thing is, however, you do code reloading, right? Um, you can you can end up with the situation where you actually need to restart the game from scratch anyway because some of the data has changed. So this only works in a limited fashion. And I personally really hate it when um, I end up spending like an hour trying to track down some kind of problem, which turns out was due to stale data. So I don't mind it that much. But yeah, I mean, I understand that it's boring to watch, if nothing else. Um, actually, I can probably do something about making that a bit faster. I'll do that in a moment. At least get the load speed of the game a bit faster for debugging purposes. Okay, so again, 300 pixels. But this time only 30 pixels. And finally the foot. Which is going to be also 30 times 30 pixels here, I guess. Okay. So that's our basic areas where we're going to draw this monstrosity of a limb. Now um, let's actually draw the monstrosity of a limb. So the idea is to follow a s roughly similar plan to the one we've got here, but uh, you know, bigger. Okay, spreadsheet. Use this collar for the metal. Start up by drawing a really big ellipsis here, which is going to be the joint. That's going to be a massive 40 pixel wide joint. Yeah. And this gun is going to have to taper a fair amount because getting all the way down needs to be about 28 pixels tall only. Twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. Okay, so it needs to go from there to there. So the baseline is basically like this. But then we do want to put in at least a little bit of tapering. Um, probably actually on that end. That sound you're hearing is Dexter complaining that he's not allowed to go outside to hunt bugs. Huh? Could come over here and say hello to our viewers. No. No. Not interested. Never mind.
Okay, now I've done this tapering really badly and in a really ad hoc fashion, so I should probably just adjust that each segment's the same length. So we have like 138 pixels. Which means each section should be about 35 pixels long. This section, for example, is only 30 pixels long. This section we make 35 long. Sure, let's make them all 34. Because this is going to vanish slightly into the next joint. There we go. Slightly tapered. And, um, mm -hmm. and then the lower part, essentially the same. Again, massive joint. I mean, these have to be portionally stouter looking, kind of like elephant legs. Oops, I'm not sure if that's centered. Yes, okay. Yes, it is. And with those, it can be a lot more chillaxed. So, you can use the same points to tamp taper. I can say words. Then, with the previous one, I guess. I'll start that by making about. Yay wide. Cut off a few pixels at the bottom so it doesn't poke out. I think when I've blocked those out, I'm just going to like run the whole thing quickly without any of the f detail work or proper shading, just so I can make sure that it looks okay, like proportions wise. There. So I feel like they may be tapering too hard. But what else we'll see. I mean it's the centered. No. No, this is completely messed up. Uh take this out by one. Baby, you can't go outside because then all the bugs will come in and eat our faces. 
Right. That's probably fine, but you know, let's check it. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So we just need to export that sprite sheet. There we go. Hi, McFeed. <laughs> Hay fever combines extremely badly with streaming. Sorry for that. We need to tell the legs where they actually are. For two, one width of three hundred, height of forty. Oh, and flipped. So now I'm just telling the specifications for the big legs where the prop images for rendering them are. There we go. I just need to tell that to each of them. And we can try it out. So the graphics are on proper graphics here, but I just want to see if the proportions look correct. Because it's going to be easier to adjust the proportions and the taper and so on now than it is after I've done all the detail work and all of the shading and so on. Yeah. Okay. So we have one massive problem. I think they look fine. They look nice. Uh, 
But we've got this. And that's a problem. Because if, oh, if you make this um, taller, then it just ends up sinking more into the ground to an already more to a more unrealistic degree than it already does. But if you make this shorter, it still will intersect this point. If you taper it more, it looks stupid. This is a little, little tiny bit non-trivial, boys and grills. Um, the legs look a bit too small as well. I am H O, and they're for some reason in a different color, which confuses me. But you know, there's some minor issues. Okay. So, what is to be done about this? Sorry, audio was too loud on my side. Maybe it's not too loud for you. Um, I think what needs doing, frankly, is that I need to deal with these feet properly, and the game needs to have this whole concept of like height added by the foot. Yeah. Which is annoying and complicated. But I think that's what has to happen. So these uh, limbs will actually target a point slightly above where they're targeting at the moment to account for the fact that the foot is a straight vertical column that gets added in. And then these will point slightly more upwards and the foot can have a joint that is more centered here at the top. It can be blockier. Okay, yeah, so that's what needs to happen. And for that to happen properly, we need to go over the code that deals with... Um, that deals with um, where, the, well, where the limbs actually have to go. Which is unfortunately a lot of code. Well, let's see. Let's have a look at it. Basically, let's move foot to. It's anywhere where we're talking about the rotation, right? So that's all the drawing stuff. Actually, no, this isn't, this isn't actually that bad. I was wrong. Uh, the rotations aren't used in that many places. So it's going to be not that difficult to add foot height value. Yeah. Yeah, that's doable. Okay. So first off, we need to go into leg spec and actually add this as a concept. But right now we only really need to sort of large legs. Uh, so let's think about what that should look like. We basically want to say, well, you need to be a few pixels offset upwards to be on the safe side. Let's say about five pixels up. Oh, that's the foot width which I hadn't even changed. It should be 30, it should be 5. 
uh, idea, make a stream when you release V7 and play the mu game in multiplayer with some players. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. I think um, when it gets a bit closer to the release, I will do some website mailing list type thing. Sorry, the cat is attempting to eat something he really shouldn't be eating. I'll be right back. So yeah, this criminal kitten you just saw was attempting to eat the piece of wire. Uh, yes, anyway, release stream, yes. I think it would be great to have a kind of playoff for the release date and I will talk about that more on here and on the various other channels when we get close to the release. Okay, leg specs. All the other types of legs seem to be doing okay right now without that progen so I'm not going to put it in we might revisit the graphics later and put it in there we go And then here in leg. You now basically need to do foot Y. There we go. That works. And while I think of it, in Uniscreen, in the code for this, we ought to now factor in just to get it to make sure that um, the ship always gets drawn when it should be. Okay. So that's sort of it. Now we just need to. Okay, so what should happen right now, just to check, is that a ship, all of these ships' limbs should now slightly hover. I uh, should just be walking kind of uh, five pixels above the surface. Let's see if it actually does that. Be nice. Yeah, see. Now it's okay. This is a bad example because it's currently standing on some bushes. <laughs> yeah, you can see the feet are now slightly higher up. You can also see that it's not yet enough. Um, it's still going into the ground by about two pixels here. So, yeah, okay, I need to make that more like 7 pixels foot offset. There we go. Okay, now let's revisit our graphics. So first off, um, we can really now easily chop off like another three pixels from here because the leg's going to cover that. 
and we need to rework this foot. Um, Okay, so it's rotational center. It's now seven pixels to the left. So we need to make it taller, I think. Kind of some slightly high heeled boots now for the larger uh, limbs. Land chips wear boots. Okay. So we're going to have an ellipsis. This ellipsis should be large enough to comfortably cover. This, so let's actually make it 24 pixels. Then it would be right on the center line. So that needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pixels to the left because that's where e no. No, no, nonsense, nonsense. It still needs to be centered. Here. She still needs to rotate around the joint. That's all right. But we now know that we can go seven units deep on that side with the actual foot. So this deep, without risking intersecting with, um, there we go, without risking intersecting with the ground. Okay. I'm not convinced we need this extra space, but I'm just going to keep it because maybe I want to add some some details later. Okay, um, let's re-export this sheet. Then we need to change the drawing code slightly to actually use it properly, and we need to restart the music. going to be the same. I'm going to download some other stuff in the future, but for now it's Rimsky Korsakov. I like Russian composers. Okay. Uh, here in the spec, we now just need to say that the foot is 40 pixels. There. And then in the ship layers, we now need to shift the foot down by its length, I think, I believe, I do think. Spec that foot. Blah, blah, blah. Plus L dot spec dot foot height. Okay, yeah. let's see if that works. And if it does, we can start working on the details of this large limb. Okay. better. Not quite good, but better. So now we hilariously have the opposite problem, which is that these are now too short. Derp. 
So we need to make them longer again. Also it seems to me like this isn't properly positioned now. It seems to think its rotational point is there. <sighs> Sigh. Um, so it feels like this wants to move up by twice the offset. Eesh. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's work on that. Um, Sadly, having picked an offset of 7, it's a bit difficult if we... let's pick one of 8 instead. This just means adding one more to here. Exporting, and now I think in the module type we want to make the foot height only four. Let's see if that works. Because uh, you could see that the limb wasn't really pointing at the rotational center at all. But it's never gonna it's never gonna point at the center as long as I use the offset in the drawing. <sighs> right. Don't use the offset in the drawing. Right, yes. Um because um, the limb still needs to, the lower limb, part of the limb, still needs to point at the center of the joint. Um, for things to work properly. Then my iPad ran out of power. Yeah. So please don't say anything important right now. I'm currently not monitoring chat. Okay, so like this. Let's try this. Oh, but it's probably not. Okay, let's set the foot offset to 8. Use the same graphics and see where we see what that looks like. Yep. Okay, that looks not implausible.
Yeah, it actually looks fine. So notably, um, look how far down these joints are going. It would definitely be a good idea if I'm going to make the limbs that big to, um, yeah, to make the springs a bit taller yet. But this is fundamentally working now, this looks alright, it's rotating around the right place and so on. So we can continue with our work. So I'm still completely fabricated why these have a different colour of grey. That will need sorting ASAP. Yeah. Wait, okay. So I just want to go into the module type again. Hi kitty. Kitten fly by. Hi. Make the springs. Taller. There we go. Now we can actually do the detail work into shading. Yeah, it's all the same colour, okay. I'll stop hallucinating colour differences where they are not. Okay, so here this big guy. Um, the idea is again to kind of make holes into it like this but we're going to go for like two rows of holes this time the kind of central big pipe like this one so let's do that That's centered, good. It's also clearly going too much that way, but we can fix that later. Well, let's fix it now. Let's just see where the joint would end. There. It would end there. Oh, well, we can just redo the joint. There we go. So that's where it comes out of the joint. And then we want um, some little round holes again for lightening the structure. I like that, I think. Then gonna make them slightly smaller.
Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? But I feel like... Uh, it should go consistently down one size with each smallening. So... <sighs> cover these back up. Move these guys. Oh baby, I know you're just about the most oppressed kid today is. You're not even allowed to go outside to hunt bugs. Okay, now we make them one smaller yet. Seven, so now six. The reason we're leaving so much space is that then we can have some nice deets about um, shading and so on. That's probably the last one, okay. Yeah. I think that's good. So, um, let's just duplicate and flip that section. Yeah, I think that's creditable. iPad insists it's still dead. Oh well. So, I'm going to have basically the same thing down here, and uh, then we would do the shady next. Okay, so, red pipe of mysterious properties, and again, don't worry, that currently looks a bit boring. Um, most of the interesting structure happens with the shading. It's like a lot of what you think of as, you know, oh, that's the color something is. It's not really the color it is, that's just uh, the color plus the lighting on that color. And now here we're literally just doing the color. So um, stuff that's transparent gets to be different and stuff that's red gets to be different. But all the other stuff that's made out of metal that stays exactly the same. Okay, so for consistency's sake. Let's see, how wide was this here? This is 24 units wide. This here is... only 22 units wide. So... Okay, making holes into this is going to be a bit tricky. I'll just give it a try, right. This can be a bit finer now, we're assuming there needs to be less space. So we had tried to keep four units of vertical space and two units there. This time we're going to be enough with three units there and one unit there. There.
Okay, yep. And then from here on it's just solid. nice thing with this design is it's completely symmetrical so when we do the um, when we do the shading we can be sort of lazy about it oh here's a thought actually I don't think we want this first one at all Then, uh, move this up by like two pixels. That's better. I just realized that I'd put it right adjacent to the actual joint. That would look a bit stupid. Okay. Yeah, it looks plausible. Now we uh, want to do the detail on the... oh! Hey beastie. Oh, I think the cats are bored. Oh, sorry cats. The detail on the foot. And I think after I've done this detail work, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, it's not that I'm tired, it's just that I'm still overheating like crazy. Um, especially with the window shot and so on. So, yeah, I think my streaming schedule may be somewhat mediated by my ability to not melt at the moment. Yeah, not bad. Can move them in. There. And gonna Take the edge of here to make it slightly more beveled. It does look like an elephant's foot now, which is fine. Okay, um, I think I think we're done here. We've got um, got this all done. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit too hot and melty right now to do all of the uh, shading detail. If you want to see how the shading detail is done, um, there's a previous video which I did the small limbs. Uh, this is just going to be a repeat of the same thing, just a bit more work. So I'm probably going to do that off stream rather than just, you know, doing half an hour solid of me placing pixels. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this unshaded variant and put it into the game so you can see how far we got so far. Okay. 
Mm, just noticed something, I think. Yes, with this left to shift, you can totally, I think, squeeze in one more set of holes there. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this will work. It's just going to be all shaded flat as if like it didn't have any edges, which will not look as nice as it could, but it will look nicer than the kind of bland grey so previously. Yeah, some downside to having a laptop is that it uh, rather warms up your um, body when you're using it. Um, if I was working on a desktop machine, I'd have more airflow. It's actually a fairly major point. Uh, yeah, next time I stream, I might just change things around, so I'm, uh, I'm not having the laptop on my foot and uh, do it on the table instead, um, because that way I can probably last long without overheating. I hope you don't mind these like random physiological details intruding into the stream, assuming you're um, you know, watching this to see how it really is in the game development minds and well how it really is includes having to stop work because you're too hot to physically like function. Um, <laughs> Right, landship left, oh yeah look, well, that looks rather good, yeah. Let's just send it against some unsuspecting victim, if it's stride forward, oh yeah, okay, it looks cool will look even cooler with more shading, but it already looks really cool. And conveniently right now, uh, the game picked a weather situation, which doesn't have very extreme lighting anyway. So it's not super noticeable that the shading's missing. Yeah, and it still correctly renders it. Even when the ship's um, no longer visible and just the limbs are. Doesn't this look cool? I think it looks cool. So yeah, I'm going to do the um, the rest of this offline, probably tomorrow or in a bit when I've cooled down or something. And obviously I'll post some screenshots and stuff. So you can see what it looks like. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, and then, then there's still some details to do with limits, but we really kind of... <laughs> exploding. Um, we're really getting to the point where it's all done and working. Right, so thank you for watching once again. Um, I hope you will tune in next time and uh, I bid you good night, don't melt and um, have fun. <laughs>